Well, first, I became familiar not with his face, but with his name, because when I was working uh, with the FBI and going through all these uh, Turkey uh, CIA operations, Gladio B operations related files with persons of interest who were targets of these investigations, uh, the name Cenk Uygur uh, began popping, not at any high level, you know, main target level. He was more of a lower level, parasitic, criminally connected guy with shady Turkish-Israeli organizations that were operating for this particular operation from late 1990s until at least the time that uh, I was fired from the FBI, which was 2002. Um, I was not surprised when he began disinformation campaign and sabotage against my case during my whistleblowing journey. This is during the period between 2004 and 2008 um, because he knew that I knew <laughs> because I had been um, speaking uh, about and talking about some of the facts, some of the involved organizations, front organizations. Some of them were Turkish organizations. Well, he was involved, Cenk Uygur, again, at the, as a rat, as a lower level rat, nobody significant. But when you're looking at the petty criminal in the bottom of the chain, parasitic guy, that's what he was. So he knew that I was familiar with, uh, with those organization, criminal organizations he was involved with. Uh, so I was not surprised when he started attacking me and launched this disinformation campaign against my whistleblowing case while I was single-handedly fighting the George W. Bush administration on all different fronts, state secrets privilege, various gag orders, etc.